Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, today I wanted to show you an annoying error that you may see come up and you're wondering what it is. Um, and so you see this uh, security warning up here in the top yellow. It says security warning, automatic updates of links have been disabled. Enable content. Well, uh, you don't always want to do that. Sometimes that could be uh, that it's a macro. Um, and if you know that this spreadsheet does not have any sort of macro in it or, or other things like that, uh, uh, and you don't want to enable content, but you want to get rid of this, there is um, three things that you should check uh, in order to see what might be going on. First, you might have a cell formula. So you see this cell formula has a reference to a spreadsheet in the formula bar. It's on my eDrive. It's got this uh, temporary file. Um, and so uh, there is a reference within the spreadsheet that may cause it. Um, in order to find any cell formulas, what you want to do is you want to do control F or find. And I think that's what up on the uh, home ribbon over on the very far right. Uh, but I'll do control F. And then when you do the find and replace, what you want to do is, is like one of the brackets. So um, if you see, if I go back into the cell formula, um, they almost always have these brackets around the file name. Uh, that is not something that you'll typically use uh, within your spreadsheet. So it is something that you can uh, search for. And so if you go in and do control F, look for one of those brackets, do find all, you'll see the different places that you, mo you potentially have a security warning link um, within a cell reference. Likewise, um, working in Microsoft Dynamics recently, when exporting a file from Microsoft Dynamics, uh, it would come up with um, all of the pick lists and stuff that uh, are for the data that you just pulled out of the CRM system. And it, Microsoft's able to set up and embed lots of different links and some other things in there. And uh, so you may want to find and replace those now. What I found is, I couldn't find a, a good example for you. Um, this one's not quite that way, but uh, what I found is these links were set up in the validation. So you'd have to go up to the data ribbon, go over to data validation button. And then in here, um, you would end up finding one of these links as the source and uh, um, cleaning all of those out. And what I would probably do at that time is, is I'd probably highlight the entire spreadsheet, go to my data validation, and uh, let's see, do you want to extend the data validation to all of these cells some have without data validation? I'm going to say yes. I would go in and just modify these to any values and apply these changes to all other cells with the same settings and just get rid of the data validation on it that has all of those bad links in it. So that's something that you can do to get rid of the security content. Now, uh, one of the final things that you can do if it's not actually a macro is uh, under the formulas ribbon, under your name manager, if you click on name manager, you'll see here's what my problem is. is I copied the spreadsheet, maybe copied some tabs into it, and it had these temporary files listed in here. Um, for these formula names that we're referencing a separate workbook. So um, you can do this and uh, uh, the find is not going to find that bracket here. So this would be the third thing that I'd want to do is I'd want to come in here and just go ahead and delete each one of these external links. And you can see where it says equals. It has a, the uh, uh, single quote. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of these. I'm going to hit my delete button and close. And uh, let's close that down. Now, next time I open up this file, um, let me go ahead and save it. And then let me go ahead and open it. And so then if I go ahead and uh, open up that file, you'll see that the security warning is all gone. So my issue was I had name manager fields that were referencing another document in folders that I have on my desktop and uh, it was not going to update that data. So that's what my issue was and I didn't want those ever again. It was an error. So it's a different way that you can go about uh, finding those different things. So look for cell formulas with the uh, bracket, which is right above your enter key and uh, double quotes key. Check data validation might have some links. Also any formulas in name manager. Once again, I hope uh, you found this useful. When, this is Steve Equals True over at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please head over there for some other great tips and tricks. Also consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.